I really like the teachers and um, their teaching styles. They're very, um, they're very nurturing and they're very understanding. And they, they, their main mission is for you and for you to be taught. And I really enjoy that. It is cold. It is negative five. I am moving my legs to stay warm. I'm Brian Bass, Crosswinds principal. This is my third year here at Crosswinds. Academics are our curriculum, but the social and emotional is our curriculum as well, right? That, that a personalized learning community in a small school is a great alternative for students who have been invisible in a lot of large mainstream schools. Okay, here we go. We very intentionally co connect our curriculum to student lives. Because if you, if you miss that part, you're missing the heart of it. You know? She's not yet. We connect it to the students' lives. We have students who will share because they feel safe. What does it mean to have a conscience? Describe a time when your, when your conscience spoke to you and did you listen? What if it's not just like saying that there's like a morally right way to do something, but you should question? Oh. Step into someone else's shoes? Oh. You're making an English teacher proud. <laughs> you know, I forgot what I said. There that. might not be a right way and there might not be a wrong way, but maybe the right way is to question. Yeah, it's a question. Is to question. Or, 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 I think you said Ellie. if it's the wrong way, you should just accept it. Yeah, yeah. there we go. There we go. Her teaching style is unlike any other teachers, and I appreciate it very much. She's like a mom almost at that school. I was from the first graduating class of Highwood Hills, and I was one of two minority people. And I faced a lot of discrimination, not only from the kids, but from the teachers from my day one. The most degrading thing that happened to me is I was like playing uh, on the gymnastics team, walking down the stairs, and a guy spit on me. My daughter has had none of these experiences and I'm elated about that because kids shouldn't have to face that. Um, safety is such an important fact. If you're safe, you're open to learning all kinds of things and doing amazing things and not feeling like you're going to be ostracized for being who you are. And I think it's really great that it brings in different districts and different kind of people and how they all meld. I don't know of any other school that does that. When a student can stay with us for the full five years, we've narrowed and almost eliminated achievement gaps for our children. And our reading scores absolutely highlight that when we have students who come in multiple grade levels behind in reading and walk out of Ms. Romero's high school English class with grade level performance. And that is, I mean, that's, that's uh, it's, it's almost a miracle. <laughs> you know, it's almost a miracle. There's a huge difference between diversity and integration. This school is based on integration. We were formed for that purpose. We believe it. We embrace it. If you were to go inside the cafeteria, you wouldn't just see the diversity of a student makeup, but you would see actual at tables that, that tables would be integrated and that those kids would be in relationship with one another in an authentic way. Why do people dance? To express their feelings. To express their feelings. What else? Have fun. Yeah. Have fun. To have fun. There needs to be a keeper of the vision. During the time of No Child Left Behind, there was a real push away from the enrichment opportunities for all students that we were focused on. What you don't want to happen is this. Will you dance with me? <laughs> <laughs> Uncomfortable, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> There was a push toward conformity with regard to how the system is supposed to work. I feel that we were much more effective when we had some autonomy in crafting a system that worked for students. Our students have this enormous craving to express themselves and I think the arts allows them to direct that in ways that are incredibly healthy and break down walls and barriers to difference. I'm currently the concert master of the Advanced Orchestra at Crosswinds. First chair, basically. <laughs> um, yeah, I've been playing since sixth grade and I love it. I just love it so much.
people will come there for the art. But then they'll be integrated along the way and we'll learn what integration is and that makes us better. It would be a travesty to let the school go and this model go. Um, I think Minnesota prides itself in being cutting edge and you need to remain cutting edge by letting Purpridge come in and just continue to enhance this model that's working for so many children. I personally think it's, it's something that should be in places all over. I think that this program should, should be in a lot of places just because it can help people who don't exactly work with the normal school environment. Learn from it. Don't, don't get rid of it.